Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I've got a very different kind of video and it is a, I guess, gift opening from a very, very sweet customer of mine who sent me a couple things and I don't know what they are yet because I haven't opened the boxes, but I have two boxes here next to me. I'm gonna try to prove that they are both unopened. Tape is still sealed. And then the other one is quite large. And yes, this one came and it says glass, so. It is not opened and it is sitting here waiting as well. So I had promised her I would wait until they both arrived before I opened them. So they are both here now. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them. Now, this customer is just the absolute sweetest. So hello, Leslie. <laughs> but she wanted to send a couple items from a couple companies or small businesses that she knows and loves um, and let me enjoy them as well. So I'm opening the first package up now. Just using a knife here to get through the tape. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to open this so you guys can see at the same time I do. So this is a little card that says, Candle Care. Okay. Oh, and there's a little thank you card with a note here. So there's a little note here from um, Farah, the owner and candle maker of Canapa Candle. So it's just got some candle care instructions on how to best burn their candles. She says, my lovely friend Leslie placed this order for me and she's thrown in a couple extra items, including a soy candle. So Farah from Kanapa Candle also says that she works with the highest quality fragrance oils and that all of her candles are paraben and phthalate free. So that is good to know, nice clean burning. Um, and she says that a lot of her customers do have sensitivities and are able to burn her candles as well. So that is good to know as well. Um, because sometimes people do have scent sensitivities. Like I know for myself, my mom has scent sensitivities. So if I know she's coming over, I don't melt scentsy as much. So there are some health conditions that some people can't tolerate scents. So it sounds like for some of those people, at least Canapa Candle might be an option. So I'm going to start digging into this little box here. So everything is packaged very nicely in these really pretty, like kind of cotton bags, um, with the, uh, brand name on them. So the little cotton drawstrings. And let's see here. Oh, this is a tea light. That smells good. It smells like cake. It smells cakey. I've got a little packing slip here. What does it say? Um, cake pop sample tea light. Okay, so this is a sample. Um, this is a cake pop tea light. And yeah, it smells cakey to me. <laughs> so that smells very good. Yes, I will enjoy that. This is These are fun to put in like candle holders or that sort of thing. And then we have wax melts. So these are the kind of six cube larger ones that we have here. Um, this is triple scented luxury fragrance made in small batches, plant-based and paraben free. Um, and it's canapacandle.com or Instagram Canapa Candle. So this one is Autumn Harvest. And I'm not sure what the scent notes are on this offhand. Maybe it says inside. No. Oh. Okay. That's good. <laughs> I think I smell apple. This is complex and strong. Like I would say this is like a seven out of 10 in intensity in strength. I think I smell apple. I smell something sweet for sure. I would categorize this as like bakery apple, but there's more going on here. This has a lot going on and I can't identify all the notes. Maybe leaves. This is very good. And this is unlike anything I've ever smelled anywhere else. Um, I can say this is a unique scent and I really, really like it. This has very high scent appeal to me. That is good. That is very good. Okay, we are off to a very good start. Um, Leslie, you know me well. So that is Autumn Harvest. I cannot wait to warm that. Then we have Sunday Morning from Canapa Candle. And they all have the very like kind of simplistic packaging. It is a very nice, um, the paper quality on the label is very nice and thick, heavy weight. Like banana pancakes maybe? I think I smell banana, maybe chocolate. Chocolate and banana pancakes. Yeah, banana chocolate chip pancakes is what I smell. 
when I edit this, I'm going to go through on her website and see if I can find scent notes for these items and put them below. Because as I'm like, as I'm filming this, I have no idea what the scent notes are. I'm opening it as I'm filming right now. So I will put the scent notes below. I might be completely off. I have no idea. But that is what I'm smelling on cold. But yeah, that's a good one too. This one is more like a 5 out of 10 in strength. But I get a very nice kind of sweet banana chocolate chip pancake type scent. Next we have pumpkin spice latte. Um, this should be good. Love a good pumpkin spice latte. Can't go wrong there. It's good. Oh, it's really good. Okay, so it hits you as pumpkin spice latte. More pumpkin spice than coffee, which is good, but there is a bit of coffee there as well. That's what you first smell. And then you get a second hit, like a second layer of nose smell <laughs> that is like cinnamon sugar. It's good. It smells like cinnamon toast crunch. Like if you've ever had that cereal as a kid, cinnamon toast crunch. Um, it kind of smells like that. But like pumpkin spice latte followed by cinnamon toast crunch is what I smell. And it is good. And this is quite a strong one as well. Yeah, that one's like a 7 out of 10 in strength as well. That is very, very good. Very fall, very delicious. Then we have Kate Breton Apple Crisp. I'm going to have to find out where she's located. Where is Canapa Candle? Okay, so Canapa Candle is in Nova Scotia. Um, I've actually got a friend who lives in Nova Scotia, so I'm going to have to ask her if she's ever heard of this company because I'm going to have to recommend it to her. Um, so yeah, Kate Breton Apple Crisp. So this one should be good. Apple Crisp scents, you can't go wrong. Oh my gosh! This is like a unique Apple Crisp though. What am I smelling? Like it is apple and it's it's less... I expected brown sugar and oats and that kind of thing. I don't get brown sugar and oats. But I get very sweet, maybe golden apples. But there's some tartness here. I almost get maybe a pear note. This is very good. Like, very good. One thing I'll say about all the scents I've smelled so far is they're all very unique. Like, none of these smell to my nose like like things you can get at Bath & Body Works or Scentsy or anywhere else. Like These smell unique. I've never smelled these in vendor wax before. Like these smell like unique blends to this, this company. And that is good. So Kate Breton Apple Crisp. Again, hard to explain, but I would say good medium, medium plus in strength. I get like sweet, tart, golden apples and maybe a hint of pear. I wouldn't say there's really any spice here. And I don't know that I get like crumble, but what I do get is kind of bubbly baked fruit, um, but still has some of that fresh Christmas to it. I really like that. And then we have another bag and it feels like wax melts. Um, another one of the bags here. So the next one here, oh, London Fog. Oh my gosh, this must be the one. So Leslie told me in an email that there was one in here that I would probably, um, know what it know that it was a special item she included as soon as I saw it. I assume this is probably it. London Fog is like the best scent ever. It's like a if you don't know what a London Fog is, it is a tea latte. So a latte made with tea um with like earl grey tea with like lavender and bergamot and like sometimes vanilla syrup. So good, so comforting and cozy. So let's smell. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Yes, yeah, so you do get the bergamot, some lavender, some tea. Oh, that's good. It has like a creamy smoothness to it. That is good. That is a nice herbal lavender with the herbal bergamot that brightens it up. It's not like Sensi's bergamot. That tends to lean cologne. This is not cologne. This is good. This is a London Fog. That is like nice high-end cafe London Fog. That is exceptional. And again, all of these have been at least a medium in strength, if not higher. So that is fantastic. Thank you, Leslie. Then we have Bake Shop, which sounds promising. That cannot go wrong. Yep, that is good. This one smells very similar to my nose to the pumpkin spice latte one. I do get like cinnamon cinnamon dough like baking cinnamon dough 
maybe a bit of coffee. Yeah, there's coffee there. Maybe some sort of bread. Maybe it's just the dough bakery stuff. But definitely like a cinnamon sugar bakery. That is very close to my nose to the pumpkin, uh, pumpkin, uh, pumpkin spice latte. But that is amazing. That's a good one as well. And again, a good 7 out of 10 in strength. Next we have peppermint mocha. That sounds good. Again, that's kind of... I think she said something about peppermint mocha here. What was it? So Farah from Kanapa Candle said that there are she's included two of her new holiday scents in christmas eve and peppermint mocha um they will be ready to burn on november 5th so these must be fresh pours she might have just poured these for the holiday collection i'm not sure um but she says they're ready to go on november 5th so i will hold off a few days before i melt peppermint mocha just because sometimes people want things to cure a bit longer so if she says they're ready to burn on november 5th i assume they're ready to burn on november 5th so i will melt them november 5th or later <laughs> so peppermint mocha and christmas eve are those ones so this must be new for the holiday collection. So let's smell peppermint mocha. Okay. You guys. Here's my thing with peppermint mocha. I love peppermint mocha. That is my favorite winter Starbucks drink. This smells like the Starbucks one. So I've had many peppermint mocha smells in the past and they all smell good. They smell like coffee and chocolate and peppermint. Those are the notes you're working with. But chocolate is a hard note to get right. She does. That is literally like when you go to Starbucks and get your first peppermint mocha of the season and you bring it up to your face and inhale it. This is that without the heat. Like if I had a warmer going and it was warm too, that would be it. I cannot under overstate how much this smells like the Starbucks peppermint mocha. That is very likely the best peppermint mocha smell I've ever smelled. And I've smelled a few peppermint mochas in my day. Um, that's good. I am gonna need more of that one. As far as description, I would say it's maybe 60% coffee, 15, 20% mint, and the rest chocolate. But whatever the ratios are, it's exactly the same as the Starbucks peppermint mocha. That one's fabulous. And then we've got Christmas Eve, which is another one she said she included as part of their holiday collection. So Christmas Eve, I have no idea what the scent notes are, but let's smell it. Oh, it's pretty. It's soft. This is the lightest of the bars, but again, it is not quite finished curing. What am I smelling? This one reminds me of mint candies, like those peppermint candies my grandma used to have, like the round peppermint candies. With almost like a perfuminess. Like there's a soft, almost floralness here with peppermint candies and maybe chocolate. This one smells like my grandma's house like when I was a kid. It's very nostalgic smelling. Um, I can't put my finger on what I'm smelling, but it's very nostalgic. That is a good one. So that is very nice. I'm gonna let that one sit a few more days or maybe a week or two and melt that closer to the holidays, but that is very, very nostalgic. Grandma's house at Christmas time. That one is very wonderful as well. So thank you. Now, Farrah said she also included a soy wax candle um, to try. So there's a card in the bag here and it says Kanapa Candle. And so Kanapa Candle is just Canada with a P instead of a D and it's kanapacandle.com. So the candle, it looks like a jar one. Oh, it's pretty. It's got like kind of an amber glass jar, white screw on lid and oh, cocoa and cream. Yes, please. So cocoa and cream is the scent. Now, let me smell it. I'm assuming it smells like cocoa and cream. That one is very pretty. This one is softer than the wax melts, but it is a very creamy, smooth chocolate. It's not at all artificial smelling. It doesn't smell chalky or artificial, like some kind of, sometimes chocolate notes can go there. This one does not. That's very pretty, very soft. I think this would be a nice one just to kind of have going somewhere where it's kind of just like making the room smell good, but you're not really sure what it is. And it would be this. 
that's very lovely. And I also love that it has colored glass because then when the flame kind of gets down a bit more, you will see the kind of the flame kind of going through the colored glass and it'll be very pretty. So that is very, very nice and very, very pretty. So thank you, Farah, and thank you, Leslie. Um, that is the sweetest. Oh my gosh. And that is a lot of goodies. My goodness. I'm going to try not to cry here. So you will see these as I warm them in my What I've Been Warming Wednesday videos. I'll give warm reviews as I warm them. Um, I'll probably get to doing cocoa and cream here soon. Um, that one's very nice. And I don't know that I'm going to trim this wick. It says to trim the wick. I don't know that I'm going to. It's a nice thick wick, but it's on the short side already. So I'm going to just let it kind of be. And then I'll see how it goes. But that one is very, very nice. And then London Fog. Gonna have to do this when my husband's home because he loves London Fogs as well. So gonna have to do that one when he's home. Um, Cape Breton Crisp and Autumn Harvest are standout, amazing, never smelled anything like them anywhere else. Adore. Oh, that is good. Oh my gosh. I can't pick favorites here. Like, I really can't. I am going to smell pumpkin spice latte and bake shop side by side, though. Because those were similar to my nose. I'm going to see if I can smell a different side by side. Yeah, there is. Pumpkin spice latte smells like it has pumpkin in it. Like fresh pumpkin. Like if you get a pumpkin muffin at a really nice, like, local bakery. With, like little seeds and stuff in it and like pumpkin spice and like cream cheese frosting. Pumpkin spice latte smells like you're having a pumpkin spice latte with cinnamon sugar nearby and you have one of those nice like hearty pumpkin muffins. That's what pumpkin spice latte smells like. Bake shop is the same. Still have the latte. You still have the muffin. You just don't have the pumpkin. But you have the cinnamon sugar and all that good stuff. That is wonderful. So thank you so much, Leslie, and to Farah, the business owner. Um, that is very, very sweet. And the cake pop is good too. That is a good one. So I am going to put the um, link to the shop below in the description box. And as I warm through these, you will get warm reviews of them on Wednesdays. But I am like, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. That is the absolute sweetest. And here's the part where I have to cut away because I don't want to cry. Then we have this very large box here. And this one I'm going to open now as well. This one's actually quite heavy. Leslie. This is an entire box of candles. I showed you how big this box is. It is full, full, full of candles. A vendor called Country Home Candle. And they have very cute labels. So... The first thing I have here is a candle from Country Home Candle, and it even has the time of day that the order was placed. That is very cool. So it's a very, very nice jar with this very nice, like, rustic lid with the name of the company burned into the top. It seems to seal nicely with, like, a rubber seal. Oh, that is good. It smells like, like, caramel. Pumpkin spice latte. I get kind of caramelly smells. It seems to be a very similar type of wax and hardness to like a Yankee candle. That's kind of what it looks like to me as far as the type of wax. But yeah, that is very nice, very sweet, kind of caramelly to my nose. Very lovely. And a nice size, like a very nice looking jar as well. And then yeah, the pumpkin spice latte label. Crafted and hand poured in Canada. So it is another Canadian company. So very, very cool. Thank you, Leslie. Next we have wax melts. So there are a few here. And they are Country Home Candle. It says Odor Synthesis Technology, which is like a registered thing they have. Um, it says Patented Odor Neutralizer Effective Against a Broad Spectrum of Unpleasant Smells. So that's interesting. Um, again, handcrafted in Canada. No parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, cruelty-free, and EPA Safer Choice certified. So this one is called Nice Melons, and it smells like watermelons. So it is a pink wax. Let's smell. Yep, smells like watermelon. That is a nice, very like juicy watermelon scent. Ooh, a little bit fresher on the back. It was very like sweet, kind of tart candy watermelon on the top. On the back, it's got a bit more of like a freshness to it. So maybe like the, the greener part of the watermelon. Very nice, nice solid watermelon scent. Good solid medium strength on cold. 
I'm excited to warm that one. So that's a very nice summery one. Next we have another wax melt. This one's called Pass the Lemongrass and it's a lemongrass scented one. And again, it's the odor synthesis technology. So probably good for if you're cooking like fish or just cooking things that you don't want your house to smell like, like bacon or something like that. Maybe you do want your house to smell like bacon, I don't know. Ooh, that is good. So that is lemongrass, straight up lemongrass. And that to me smells like, oh, that is good. That it smells like Avil Bath from Lush. Lush has a, they've had soaps in the scent, they've had shower gels, they've had all kinds of products in that scent, but it's the Avil Bath Green Bath Balm and it smells like lemongrass. This smells exactly like that. Very good, very fresh. I think it would be really nice in the summer as well. Then we have another odor synthesis technology, um, peach. So it's called That's Just Peachy and it's probably gonna be peach. Yep, oh, that is good. That is peach. It kind of reminds me of um, the peach one that Sensi did in the summertime. What was that one called? Peachy and Palm Trees. This is a very similar peach scent to that. This one to me is just the peach, but it's a very soft, smooth peach. That is a very pretty peach, like very pretty peach. That one is gonna be put away till summer, but love, love, love. Next we have Grab Life by the Cherries. This one is black cherry scented. That is black cherry and that is a good one. This one is on the stronger side. That one is like specifically black cherry and very red. Kind of reminds me of like cherry cola actually or like Dr. Pepper or something like that. That one's fun. This one smells like movie night to me. I think because it smells like cola or Dr. Pepper. That one I think I would do on a movie night would be fun. So that is black cherry. This one is called My Sage, Your Citrus and it's sage and citrus, which is funny because I just got a haul from Scentsy that I filmed a little bit ago. Um, it'll either be going up today or tomorrow. I'm not sure which yet, but I got a oil of um, sage and citrus from Scentsy and it smells like the Yankee Candle sage and citrus candle. I'm hoping this smells like the sage and citrus Yankee Candle as well because that was one of my favorite candles back in the day. Yep, yeah, this is a dupe. That's it. Okay, so the sage and citrus Scentsy oil was a little bit similar to the Yankee Candle, not really dead on. This is dead on. This is the Yankee Candle scent. That is amazing. I love that. And I just learned recently, you can no longer buy Yankee Candle in Canada. They used to ship to Canada for top dollar, but they did. Um, now they no longer even ship to Canada, last I checked. So very excited to be able to get more sage and citrus in my life. I'll have to see on their website if they make the candle in this scent as well, because if they do, I'm gonna be ordering that. That is very, very good. It is a like herbal, fresh, clean, green herbal scent without being overly aquatic or being overly green. It's just very clean and fresh and relaxing. Really love this scent. So that one is a knock it out of the park. Love. Then we have Mint to Touch Your Eucalyptus. Um, so it's eucalyptus and mint. And this is actually kind of a nice like grayish toned wax. Sometimes I like to match my wax to the color of my house and my like living area is like gray and cream so that'll be pretty um yeah that's pretty that's exactly what you'd expect from mint and eucalyptus it is a very nice soft eucalyptus mint no hard edges here the eucalyptus is not nose burny it's not headachey it is perfect and the mint here is very pretty very nice classic soft eucalyptus mint medium strength very very nice so inside here is a like leaflet about the Abolish, which is the odor eliminating candles and wax melts. Um, so they are 100% soy coconut wax blend. Um, they are patented odor neutralizer, abolishes malodors by removing them from the air. Um, and they do have the six scents. So I actually got each of the six scents that they have in this product. Um, so it looks like they're in candles or wax melts. So they have them in candles as well. 
Okay, here's scent notes. Perfect. So the cherry one is a sweet and rich blend of black cherry and wild berries, which I do get black cherry. I'm trying to see if I get berries too. I mean, maybe. I mostly get black cherry, but I, I'll believe that there's berries there. Um, just peachy is a sweet, fresh, vibrant smell of freshly sliced peaches. I would agree. Um, nice melons is watermelon and honeydew. Um, I don't remember if I got honeydew from that one, but I definitely got watermelon. Although that is true. I did get kind of a green scent on the back of that one. And so that could be what that was. Yeah, I could see it. Yeah, on the back. So I would say yes, honeydew is probably in this one as well, like they say. Um, past the lemongrass is lemongrass and citrus. I would agree. Um, mint and eucalyptus is mint and eucalyptus, which I would agree. Sage and citrus is revitalizing and soothing sage with revitalizing citrus hints. Yes, absolutely. And then some information about the company. It says our candles are handcrafted in Canada. Inventory is available to be shipped within two weeks of ordering and product lids can be customized for your brand. So that's very cool. So the first candle that I showed with the wood lid, it sounds like you can actually get these customized with whatever you want. So this would even be a cool wedding favor or something, really. If you wanted to get like your, your names and your wedding date on the top there for a wedding favor, that would be very cool. Um, I don't know if they do wedding favors. You'd have to ask them, probably. Um, yes, minimum quantities apply. You can't just order one with a special lid, but if you order a certain number, you can do that. But yeah, and then it has the contact information for them as well, which I'll put in the description box below. Then we have a few more candles. These are nice like kind of jar ones and these have very pretty labels. So this is graham cracker crust, which should be amazing. And so again, nice weight, nice glass jars, nice tin lids. Oh my gosh. That one's exceptional. That is very, very good. Yep. So what I can see myself doing here is putting in like hug in a mug or graham cracker crunch or some kind of mix of bakery scents in my warmers and then lighting this guy up and letting that kind of mingle with those oh that's gonna be good that one is very very good but to me i do smell graham cracker like specifically graham cracker a little bit of butteriness kind of has that nuttiness that like toasted graham cracker smells like so i would say it's like toasted graham cracker and like a bit of butter um which would be a graham cracker crust so that is very 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 good but a medium strength on cold. Really like that one. Next we have Fireside Cinnamon. This one should be good. And this one is pretty. I don't know if you can see the wax. It's like kind of speckled and brown. It's just pretty. So this one. Oh. This one is cozy winter night. It is cinnamon. It's like a mix between bakery cinnamon and cinnamon bark. It's like cinnamon stick. It has a bit of woodsy smokiness to it, but not a lot. It just smells cozy and like a fireplace is on, like embery, without being smoky. With that cinnamon, and I also get like a sweetness of like maybe baked apple or something like that. There's definitely a sweet fruit note here that's like a baked fruit, and I think it's like baked apple. Like I would say baked apple, cinnamon stick and like embers that is very very good really like that one as well very very nice that one would pair very nicely with like your cedar cider your autumn hearth spiced ember glow all of those kind of deep spicy winter scents from scentsy that'll be a good comparison or good, good those will be good companions for that one. Oh my gosh christmas morning and i love the label on this one it's got kids kind of peeking down at the christmas tree in the morning after Santa's been there. So this one is a pretty red wax. Let me smell. Ooh, this one's bright. What am I smelling? I think like, I wanna say orange juice came to mind first. And maybe like a little tiny, tiny bit of maybe pine, but not really. More like, more like wood. 
it's bright. And I think orange juice is what I smell. A little bit of spice, almost like a pine cone type scent, like kind of a dry wood. That is pretty though. Like that smells very like, again, nostalgic. It smells like something of like, it does smell like the label age. Like it smells like something from like the 1950s or 60s or I'm not sure when this was, probably the 50s. It looks like kind of 1950s art print, but it smells like the 1950s would probably have smelled. Yeah, kind of spicy and bright and orangey and just very nice. So that is very, very pretty. Next we have Campfire Marshmallow. And again, the labels are all really kind of pretty for this one. So this one is probably going to be close to like the Fireside Marshmallow and kind of those, those types of scents. Oh, it's a little bit different. This is not just like a straight up dupe fragrance oil. This is their own thing. This is nice. It is smoky, campfirey. Does have that very nice sweet marshmallow. And it's a very nice like gooey marshmallow. That's nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. So yeah, you get a little bit of ember, some smoke, lots of marshmallow, and it's very, very pleasant. So there's that one. And oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm gonna melt first. These are lovely. I think for the candles, I'm really, really torn between Fireside Cinnamon and Graham Cracker Crust. These are both like 10 out of 10. Oh, that one is good. You know, I don't see why you couldn't melt these two together. I feel like those would actually pair decently well together. You've got the kind of spicy emberiness and then the very sweet smell. I think those would be good. So that is what was in that box. So, oh my goodness. Thank you, Leslie. That is beyond. That is so, so, so many things. And that was so not necessary to do. But thank you very much for doing it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy these abolish melts. What I'm going to do is actually save these for when I do cook like bacon or something that makes my house smell foodish. And then when it's too cold to open the windows, put one of these in and test their, um, test their odor neutralizing capabilities because that's my plan. And yeah, again, with these, you'll also see these in my empties. Um, the candles you'll probably see in my monthly empties. I don't normally do um, what I've been warming Wednesday with candles, but you'll see any empties in my monthly empties of the candles. And then the wax melts you'll see as they come up every week on Wednesdays. So thank you so much. And those are lovely. And again, I will put the um, website in the description box below. I'll see if they've got social media as well and put that in the description box below as well. Um, but yeah, so that was the Country Market Candles and the Kanapa Candle haul. Lovely, lovely, lovely gift from Leslie. And so thank you so much for watching. And thank you to Leslie for being the absolute sweetest human. And we will talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.